What's going on everybody? I'm back with another High Limit Coin Buster video for you all today. In today's video we're going to be doing a $3 million buy-in. They only gave us one quarter for $3 million. Oh my goodness, nice! There we go. It already fell before I put the quarter in. Thank goodness because that quarter I just put in there didn't do anything. That is amazing. So let's go see how many quarters we've won. We'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. So we had won exactly $10 in quarters on that first round right there. That is amazing. So $10 in quarters is equivalent to 40 quarters. So that's pretty good. So anyway, uh, let's keep on pushing. Let's see. Across the whole field. Seems like a pretty good plan to me. Oh yeah, nice. We got one of the towers back there to go. $5,000 chip tower on the left. Anyway, they got it loaded up really, really well today. This is honestly one of the best setups I've seen in there in a very long time. They got like one massive tower of uh, $25,000 chips back there. Looks like a spiral tower. That's very, very unique. So anyhow, let's go see how many quarters we've won. We'll get right back to it. Alrighty, we're back. So now we got pretty close to 80 quarters. We just keep on like doubling our quarters each round. This is absolutely amazing. Oh yeah, nice. That other tower of $5,000 chips fail. That center's pushing remarkably well also. Getting tons of quarters back. The two quarter towers and the quarter pyramids on the corners those are moving forward pretty well oh yeah this tower right here is getting real close to going also so anyhow what else do they have in there today there's tons of five and ten thousand dollar chip towers two ginormous uh, dollar sign money mystery bags on the blue shelves and two massive towers of ten thousand dollar chips check those out those are probably like uh I'd say two million, two and a half million dollar towers each. Nice, there we go. It's pushing brilliantly well today. Getting boatload of quarters, that's for sure. So let's go see what we've won. We'll get right back to it. Oh yeah, this is doing super, super well now. We're up to about uh, 600 quarters. And on top of that, both of these towers, they're going nice. There we go, big push. Nice, we got the tower on the left hand side that is amazing oh yeah the one on the right it's going also nice we caught it oh my goodness wow nice and we got the rest of that quarter pyramid on the left wow this is doing remarkably well today yeah i was pretty worried at first spending uh, three million dollars for one quarter it's very very expensive and very very risky but uh, luckily we got it to go first try and they had told me that uh, how many people was it I believe it was seven other people had played the one quarter challenge before I got here and each one of them did buy-in after buy-in they still couldn't get it to go so uh, luckily it was ready to pay out and we finally got it to go but now I think the goal is to win as many quarters back as possible that way we can build up our quarter count, have enough quarters to get the whole entire machine cleared out today. Sounds like a pretty good plan to me. Just trying to play it slow at the start, and then once we build up our quarters, we can start like rapid firing thousands of quarters in there. Yeah, there's two towers on the corners that look like they're gonna be pretty difficult to get. It's these two towers of $10,000 chips, cause, uh, the side slots that are on the left and the right hand side, y'all may be able to see them a little bit. Uh, that money goes to the owner. I don't get a win or keep any of that money. And if there's any weight or pressure build up like on the sides, then the quarters just take the easiest route. That means the quarters would just fall down the gutter 99.9% .9 of the time. So that's why it's really, really difficult to get them towers to get going. But we're not going to let that stop us today. We're not going to stop till we have every single chip every single tower out of there all right well that right there was the last of our quarters so let's go see what we've won so far and we'll get right back to pushing all righty and coin pusher has returned let's get right back to pushing so that last round was a massive success we made a tremendous amount of money my goodness i think we made a little over uh, four hundred thousand dollars so we're doing pretty good so far I mean, we still got like $2.6 million to go to making that uh, $3 million buy-in back. 
But I'll tell you one thing, this is a fabulous start to the game, and we're definitely going to have way over uh, $3 million once we get this great big old tower, $25,000 chips to go. Yeah, it only takes four of those uh, $25,000 chips to make $100,000. I mean, that's just basic math. So if you just uh, look at that tower right there, just imagine how many uh, $25,000 chips is in that tower. Well, on each row of chips, there is seven chips. So I can see it up here at the top. There's seven chips in a circle. And then it just goes all the way down that tower. So yeah, I'd say they're easily probably eight, nine, ten million dollars in that tower. So if we can get that to go, that's going to be a humongous profit for today. This is actually my first game of the day. So uh, hopefully this goes really, really well. Now usually the first game or two that I play, they're like very, very stubborn. Can't get them to go this first game it was really really well it's going brilliant today like I said so it looks like that tower on the pusher is losing all kinds of $25,000 chips at the bottom of that tower or the base of it as I should say that's a really really good sign right there that it's about to go and we're doing really really well on quarters now also Got a couple thousand of those. Oh yeah, that tower's gonna go any moment now. Come on, nice push. Well, I tell you what, should we go ahead and use that skill stop button? Load up a whole bunch of quarters at once? Yeah, I think that's a brilliant idea. So yeah, let's go for about uh, six or 700 quarters at once. Not too awful many, I'm just trying to uh, stack up the quarters, get a large base of quarters built up behind these towers. Yeah, definitely the $10,000 kept towers on the left and the right, because those are going to struggle for a long time, I think. So just going to go ahead and play our cards drop and stack up the quarters as high as we can. It's definitely the best technique of getting the whole entire machine cleared out. So, uh, Let's see, that right there was around 450 quarters. This is going to be super, super amazing. It'll just be wave after wave of quarters. So, if you've never seen this many quarters in the coin pressure at one time before, putting like five or 600 quarters in there at once, you're about to see the most epic thing you will ever see. This is going to be absolutely phenomenal. Are you ready for it? I'm going to release that skill stop in three, two, one. Let's see what it does. Come on, baby. Big push. All right, might as well throw the rest of those quarters in there. All right, well, let's push them. Let's just give it a moment. Oh, yeah, that tower, it's going to go. We're like two or three seconds away from making millions of dollars. Nice, we got it. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Raining $25,000 chips. Let's get that loot sheet cleared out. Wow, this is doing brilliant today. That was an absolutely excellent push right there. So uh, let's keep that momentum going. Let's uh, keep on loading this thing up with quarters. Let's try to play a lot faster now since we got that tower to fall down. Because I'm really, really going to try to get these uh, $10,000 chips that are on the left and the right hand side. The $10,000 chip towers, as I should say. Oh my goodness, check that out. There is a brown mystery bag hidden inside that uh, $25,000 chips. Wow, that is amazing. Hopefully that mystery bag is loaded up real, really well. So, uh, anyway, let's see what that does. Nice, it's pushing real good. Big money, come on. Nice, it's just like, I'd say we're averaging anywhere from like a hundred thousand all the way up to half a million dollars every single push it's doing really really good today can't believe this all started with just one quarter now we got super super lucky whenever the quarters fell by itself and it knocked like uh, ten dollars over the edge on that first push because the quarter i put in there that they gave me for the three million didn't do anything at all as you've seen at the beginning of the video 
Yeah, we got saved by that lucky push. Technically like a uh, bonus push or something like that. Oh yeah, we just about got all the $25,000 chips cleared out. Only uh, 75 grand left right there in the center. Alright, let's continue pushing. Probably try another round or two after this to try to get these two towers of $10,000 chips. And if we don't get them, uh, we'll probably cash in the $5 chip if we win that. And what I mean by $5 chip, uh, a lot of times it's typically inside the mystery bags. And if we win it, we get to cash it in. They'll take all the stuff that is on the blue shelves. They'll put it all into the playing field somewhere. But if that $5 chip is not in there, uh, then it would cost double the original buy-in. So it'd be $6 million to get the blue shelves cleared off. And then that would be a $9 million buy-in in total. So let's just hope that that $5 chip is hidden in there today. If so, that'll save us uh, $6 million. But if worse comes to worst, uh, paying that $6 million to get the blue shelves wouldn't be that bad of an idea today. Because there's two mystery bags which could potentially have a lot of dice in there that we could potentially multiply our winnings by a lot. And uh, the two $10,000 chip towers alone is probably around $6 million. Not counting the $5,000 chip towers on there. And there's like uh, two more smaller towers of $10,000 chips up front here. You see those? Those are on the edges of the blue shelves. So, uh, but yeah, usually probably on nine out of ten games that I play, that $5 chip is always in one of the mystery bags. So anyhow, let's stack this thing up once again. This is a pretty intense game right here to be honest with you. I mean we've done broken even and profited matter of fact all those $25,000 chips and to be completely honest with you that might have been the biggest tower of $25,000 chips I've ever seen in this machine before. Yeah, it was a ginormous spiral tower of chips. You just know it's going to be a good payday when you see the spiral towers in there. Seems like on every single game that I've played that had uh, spiral towers in it, we've always uh, walked out with a humongous profit. Sometimes a new record win. It'd be nice to get a record win today, though. Well, we're going to have to beat like uh, 1.3 million or something. I think my record win was like... Uh, couple million away from 1.4 billion so uh, we're gonna have to make at least 1.4 billion dollars on this game for it to be a brand new world record win or a record win for me anyway not really sure what the world record is all right so anyhow that right there was the last of our quarters so should we go ahead and open up that mystery bag yeah, that sounds like a pretty good idea. So let's do that and we'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. So before we get back to pushing, I would like to go ahead and open up this brown mister bag right here. So let's check it out. See if there's any good and valuable stuff in there. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. We got two $1 chips. Uh, each one of those is worth 500 free quarters. So this right here is 1,000 free quarters. I'll take it. And check this out, we got the $5 chip. So well, like I said earlier, we'll get to cash that in. They'll take all the stuff that is on the blue shelves and they'll put it somewhere into the playing field. And check this out, we got a $5,000 chip. Wait a second. Well, it says uh, $5,000 and $10,000 on each side. Well, $5,000 on one side and $10,000 on the other. I've never seen a chip like this before. So, uh, let me go ask them what this is for, and I'll be right back. You all are not going to believe this. So, I asked them what this chip was for. They said it was worth one or more free towers made out of five and ten thousand dollar chips. That is absolutely amazing. Wow, that is just insane. I never thought I'd see a chip like this in here, so... Anyway, should we go ahead and cash this in? They'll add a bunch more to the playing field. So yeah, let's do that and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, Andy Quinn Busher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. 
So I turned in that five thousand slash ten thousand dollar chip, and they added three bonus towers to the play field. There's two towers of five thousand dollar chips. They also added another tower of ten thousand dollar chips right there. So that is absolutely amazing. So that is a brand new chip. Like I say, I've never seen that in there before. So that is absolutely incredible. Yeah, honestly, that might be a lot better than the $10 chip. They may have discontinued the $10 chip for that thing. Now, who knows? But anyhow, uh, you all are not going to believe this. We made over $12.1 million on the last round before we opened up the Mr. Bags and stuff. I counted over $12.1 million in chips. So... This is doing absolutely amazing. So we've already uh, made four times our buy-in. Well, almost uh, five times our buy-in, really, because we got all those uh, five and ten thousand dollar chips at the start of the game. So now yeah, this is doing brilliantly well today. So anyhow, uh, let's see. I think it's time to go ahead and load this thing up with quarters using that skill stop button. While we got some more weight on the play field, we might as well try to get all four of these towers out of here. So like I said, uh, we've already made a tremendous profit today. And after we win these towers, the chips that are on the lower shelf here, I will go ahead and turn in that $5 chip and they will put all those other towers into the playing field for us. So. Stay tuned for that. More exciting gameplay coming right up. So anyway, how's everybody's day going so far today? Hope y'all are doing well and having an incredible day today. Uh, how's the weather outside where y'all are at? Uh, y'all been getting any snow lately? Been uh, getting any thunderstorms? Been getting any rain? Just uh, let me know down in the comments section. Yeah, where I'm at today, it's decently warm outside. It's just a little bit cloudy. I'd say it's around like uh, 58 degrees out there. Well, maybe like 55 degrees or something. It's still a little bit chilly. But uh, anyway, overall, it's pretty good weather out there. I'd much rather prefer uh, 50 degree weather and it being cloudy out there than it uh, snowing and being 20, 30 degrees. I'm sure most of y'all can relate to that. And anyway, what is your all's favorite season? I've asked y'all a couple of times, and the reason why I keep on asking is because I know there's a lot of new people watching every single day. And I just like uh, reading all your all's comments and stuff. So uh, what's everybody's favorite season? Me personally, I'm gonna have to go with uh, summertime. Oh my goodness. Well, uh, one of the empty baskets that was sitting on top of the machine fell backwards and it fell off the machine. My goodness, I wasn't expecting that to happen. We'll pick up that basket here shortly. Uh, but anyway, uh, back to what I was saying. Uh, my favorite season is like summer, or late spring, early summer, I guess you can say. Yeah, there's more outdoor activities you can do when it's warm. Lots of cookouts, family get-togethers and stuff. You know what I mean? So, overall, I just prefer summertime over any other season. And anyhow, uh, I appreciate all the support y'all have been showing over the past couple of years. And this year so far, it's been a really, really good year. Um, one of my goals for this year is to upload videos every single day and not miss any videos at all. That might be pretty difficult to do, but I'm going to give it a try. Anyhow, I appreciate all the nice comments. I appreciate everybody watching the videos every single day. And I appreciate everybody hitting that like button and subscribing. It truly means a lot to me. And with that being said, if this is your first time watching my channel and you're enjoying this amazing video today, uh, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. 
Uh, like I've been saying for a couple of months now, we are on the road to 150,000 subscribers. So my goal is to get there by February the 1st. So that gives you all like a month, almost a month, for subscribing stuff. We, we need to get like less than uh, 10,000 subscribers. I think we need like uh, 9,600 subscribers, 9,500 or something. Because at the moment we got around 140,500 subscribers, I think. Pretty close to that anyway. So uh, if you want to help out the channel and get me to 150,000 subscribers, uh, hit that subscribe button. It's 100% free. It doesn't cost you any money at all. Matter of fact, it would just make it a lot easier for you to keep up with the future videos. So can't beat that and this is totally up to you but you're welcome to hit that thumbs up button on the video it would really really help out the channel and it would help this video get uh, like posted to more people more people will see this video if you hit that like button and plus, I reward you all for hitting that like button. If we can get like, uh, let's say, uh, 5,000 likes on this video today, in 24 hours, uh, the next video I will do a, let's see, $50 million buy-in if this video can get 5,000 likes. So, uh, anyway, just uh, hit that like button, everybody, if you don't mind. That's 100% free also. All right, well, that's where we're at on quarters. We got about uh, 50 of them left in the basket, I'd say. Now, these towers still have a lot of progress to make. These ones on the corners, so. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to debate on whether or not I should go ahead and turn in the $5 chip or if I should uh, continue pushing these towers on the left. Well, I want to be sure we have enough quarters to get it all cleared out of there today, and I feel like uh, we'd make a lot more progress on everything if we just go ahead and turn in the $5 chip. They'll put all them towers in here. So uh, I think that's what we'll do. Let's go ahead and turn in that $5 chip, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, A&B Coinbusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that uh, $5 chip. They took all the towers that was on the blue shelves. They put them all into the playing field. And I completely forgot to mention this, but I did turn in those two $1 chips at the same time when I cashed in that $5,000 slash $10,000 chip. So we got thousands of quarters now. We definitely won't have to worry about quarters for the rest of the game. I don't think anyway. It just depends on how long it takes us to get these towers out of here. Oh yeah, well that tower on the pusher, it is super, super close to going. All right, let's just rapid fire a whole bunch of quarters in here at one time. How does that sound? All right, so that right there was about uh, 200 quarters at once or something. Let's keep it going. Now both of them towers are $10,000 chips on the pusher. Whenever those go, those may uh, help us get these two towers on the corners. That'd be amazing. So anyway, I would like to give a shout out to a uh, coin pusher. His name is Joe. He does absolutely incredible high limit coin pusher videos. If you have not seen this channel before, I highly suggest you go and check it out. And matter of fact, I will link one of his videos on the end screen of this video right here. It will appear at the top left corner and you can just click on that video and it'll take you right to Joe's uh, video. Yeah, like I said, he does amazing videos. He's super, super good at the one-quarter challenges. So if you have not seen his channel before, I highly recommend you go and check it out. And he, he posts uh, videos seven days a week like I do. So uh, just go and check out his channel if you haven't already. And Joe and I both are trying to get to 150,000 subscribers. Yeah, both of us have been trying to get there for a very, very long time. So... If you have not subscribed to our channels, uh, you're missing out big time. So anyway, uh, that right there was probably around 1,000 quarters at once. That's a lot more than I was wanting to put in there. But let's see what it does. Come on. Mm. 
nice. There we go. We got the majority of the towers on the left-hand side to go. The one back there on the pusher on the right, it's going any moment now also. Come on, big money. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yeah, we just need those uh, quarters to break free. Nice, we got it. Oh my goodness, wow. All right, there we go. I uh, had to get that loot chute emptied out. Anyway, this is doing absolutely amazing. Nice, we got that um, one of the money mystery bags. That is awesome. So we'll check out that mystery bag here shortly. You know what? How about we open it up right now? Sounds like a pretty good idea. While those quarters are still breaking free, I'll try to get this open. Yeah, they tie the strings really, really tight on these things. It's hard to uh, get them open at times. But anyhow, I'm going to open it up right here so y'all can see the action going on right here in the center. So let's check it out and see what we got. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of stuff in here. Holy moly. Just wait till I show you all this. Hang on a second trying to get it uh, separated all right here we go we got a hundred grand in ten thousand dollar chips that is awesome sauce right there and uh, we got two more of the one dollar chips that's another thousand quarters right there that is amazing and check this out we got uh, five of the white dice and three of the gold dice so the white dice we get to roll them at the end of the game or uh, whatever they land on my winnings will multiply by those numbers and the gold dice, we get to roll them whatever they land on. The gold bars will multiply by those numbers. That is absolutely remarkable. That mystery bag was loaded up really, really well. And uh, speaking of the gold, I don't think we had won that much gold today. There was none in there on the first round. And I'm pretty sure the only gold that was in there was these two tiny towers of gold that was hidden behind those uh, mystery bags when they was on the blue shelf. So you all couldn't see them for sure, but I could see them a little bit where I'm standing at. Because see, I'm standing like on the left side of the machine here. Uh, my camera is uh, set up right here in front of the machine. Because you're watching everything that's going on in here. And I need to be over here on the left side of the machine because that's where the skill stop button is located at. And uh, it's just more convenient to... Uh, be over here on the left hand side of the machine. Well anyway, uh, one of the mystery bags got stuck in the loot chute on the left here. Anyway, let's load this thing up again. That sounds like a pretty good plan. So yeah, this is probably going to be a long video today. Maybe at least like 35-40 minutes long. So get a bucket of popcorn and a, something to drink and sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Yeah, we're definitely going to make out like a bandit on this game today. We've probably already made around, uh, wouldn't surprise me if we've made like 18 to 25 million dollars in chips today, which is absolutely insane. I can't believe we was able to win that much from a three million dollar buy-in. Yeah, usually they would charge at least 50 million dollar buy-in for a game like this. But they've been uh, dropping the price in buy-ins tremendously lately which I'm not going to complain about, and y'all seem to like the smaller buy-ins anyway. So, uh, anyhow, just let me know what types of videos you'd want to see this year. A lot of people have said just to do a mixture of everything, which is probably what I'll end up doing, but still, uh, leave me some suggestions for videos down in the comments. Do you want to see more uh, videos like this, poker chips and quarters videos? Or do you want to see like uh, quarters and cash only games, like cheaper buy-ins, like $10,000 buy-ins, cash and quarters only? Or would you want to see like, uh, I don't know, like maybe smaller buy-ins again, like $500 buy-ins? I don't know, just uh, let me know what types of videos you'd want to see down in the comments. But yeah, there was a lot of people who told me back when I was under like 20 subscribers, people told me I'd be lucky to get past uh, 20 subscribers and that I would never make it doing these uh, coin pressure videos. 
but I stuck with it for about three and a half years four years now and I am super super glad that I did because we're on the road to 150,000 subscribers so that right there just goes to show you I never give up and never listen to the haters because 99.9% .9 of the time they don't know what they're talking about so uh, never give up and never let anyone uh, tell you that you're not good enough. Never let anyone stop you from achieving your goals. That's what I'm trying to say. If I would have listened to the haters back when I first started doing this and I would have quit YouTube, then y'all wouldn't have had this amazing uh, YouTuber to watch every single day. I wouldn't have been making videos. So uh, never give up, that's my main message to you all, no matter what it is. If it's a goal you're wanting to accomplish, never give up. And work as hard as you can every single day, and you will eventually achieve that goal plus ten times more if you stay consistent with it. Oh yeah, this Mr. Bag, check this out. It's like trying to slide down into the payout chute. Nice, there it goes. Wow, that is what I'm talking about. My goodness, there's like a mountain of quarters and chips on the floor. Yeah, it's even overflowing out of that box that I have sitting down there on the floor to catch the stuff that falls out of the loot chute. All right, well, both of these towers are super, super close to the edge. We'll probably try like another round or two and try to get them. If we don't get them, we'll probably just pay an extra hundred grand to have them rearrange them. So uh, anyway, that right there was the last of our quarters. So uh, let's go round up the quarters and we'll go ahead and check out that other mystery bag. How does that sound? Alrighty, I'm back. So here's that mega money mystery bag. Let's go ahead and check it out. See if there's any nice prizes in there. Hopefully this one is loaded up just as good as the other one was. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there. Let's see what we got. There's a whole bunch more dice, and we got a whole bunch of $5,000 chips. And check this out, we got another $1 chip. So that's another 500 free quarters. We still got uh, two more we got to cash in. So that's 1,500 free quarters right there we can claim for free. And check this out, we got 50 grand in $5,000 chips. I'll take that. And let's see, we got uh, five more of the white dice. Yeah, five more white dice. Uh, three, or no, two more gold dice and two more silver dice. That is insane. So the silver dice, we get to roll them at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, the quarters will multiply by those numbers. That is absolutely phenomenal right there. So we'll turn in all three of them $1 chips here in a little bit. But anyhow, uh, let's try to get these two towers up. Uh, $10,000 chips out of there. Let's just rapid fire a whole bunch of quarters. I'm just going to try my best to get it all cleared out of there. Without having to pay that extra hundred grand to have them rearrange the towers. Like I said, I'll probably try like two or three more rounds. And uh, if we don't get these two towers out of here, we'll pay the extra hundred grand to have them rearrange them. And that would definitely be worth it because, uh, let's see. I'd say each one of those towers is around uh, half a million dollars possibly. So that's probably a million dollars in $10,000 chips in there, I'd say. But let's stay positive. Hopefully we can get them on this round right here or the next round. That'd be amazing. We got a lot of quarters built up back there on the pusher, so now they just need to reach these two towers up front. So uh, let's keep on using that same technique. Put thousands of quarters in there at one time. It's definitely going to work out really, really well. Alright, let's see what that does. Come on, big money. So yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, what have you all thought about today's video? What did you think of all the towers that was in there? Me personally, I thought this was probably the absolute best setup I've seen in there in a very long time. 
Well, not so much for the quarters, but for the chips and the quarters combined. Because there's been a lot of uh, quarters and cash-only games over the past couple of weeks. And uh, I don't think anything can top those. Now, those setups for the quarters were really, really good. But I'd say this game right here with the chips and the quarters had to be one of the best that I've seen in there. And hopefully it is uh, one of the biggest wins I've had also. Like I said, if we can make 1.4 billion, that will make a new record win for me. Well, let's see, we got uh, 10 of the white dice, and let's just say we have won $20 million in chips. And if all the dice lend on the best possible numbers, like uh, fives and sixes, then my goodness, talk about a record win. That's like, record win would be an understatement, I'm sure. We get to multiply $20 million in chips by uh, 50 or something. That'd be an insane amount of money. Oh no, well I accidentally dropped a uh, $5,000 chip back in there. Yeah, that'll happen from time to time. A lot of times I'll miss a chip or something while I'm separating the chips from the quarters. And we'll accidentally throw it back in there. But uh, if I called them back here right now, they would uh, give me that $5,000 back. They'd give me a refund. Or so they'd just take that chip out of there and just hand it to me. But uh, we're going to try to win it out of there. Again, I guess. Guess it won't hurt to. Alright, so that was about half of a basket of quarters right there. Let's see what it does. Oh yeah, it should give us two or three more good pushes, I'd say. Yeah, it would definitely be super, super nice to get these uh, two towers of $10,000 chips that are on the corners. And uh, Anyway, well that $10 chip and $50 chip was not in there today, but still, we got super, super lucky. We got that uh, $5,000 slash $10,000 chip. And they built like several towers in there. So each day it could be different. It's just like the $10 chip uh, bonus game. Say if that wheel lands on uh, $1,000 chips, for example. Some days they might build like one enormous tower of $1,000 chips. Then the next day they could build like three or four smaller towers of $1,000 chips. Then the day after that they could build like uh, two mega towers and 10 smaller towers, so it's totally random. I guess it just depends on, I guess it just depends on who's working that day and what the staff want to build out of it. And there has been a couple occasions where they built like pyramids of chips in there, which overall we still get it to go. We still get it all out of there most of the time. Anyway, we got probably like uh, 15 quarters left. Right, there they are, so let's go round up the quarters real quick, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. So I've been playing off camera for about, uh, let's see, how long has it been? Let's see what the camera says. I started a new recording. It says I've been playing for 2 hours, 39 minutes, and 6 seconds. So, yeah, I've been playing a long time off camera trying to get these towers, and both of them have moved forward tremendously and they're like hanging over the edge so really really hoping we can get them to go now I mean if not if we don't get them to go within like 10 or 15 minutes I'll go ahead and call them back here pay the extra hundred grand have them uh, reset the machine and move the towers and stuff and anyway I cashed in all three of them one dollar chips here a while back probably about like an hour ago or something and they gave me uh, however many quarters it was. Yeah, like I said, I'm just been really focused on trying to get these towers on the corners. So, uh, oh, nice one on the right just moved. But yeah, I've been trying every single technique, uh, the rapid fire technique, skill stop technique, 
Then I would play like normal for a little bit and just put a couple bucks in there at a time. And we finally got the towers to this point right here, so. Nice, the one on the right just moved. Did you see that? Just moved again. Hey, well, let's rapid fire a whole entire basket in there at once and see what happens. Let's see what that does. Come on, big money. Oh my goodness. Well, this tower on the left-hand side, it's a lot more closer than the one on the right. Yeah, look how close that tower is. That is super, super close to the edge. Yeah, keep in mind the towers have been in this exact position for about, uh, I guess, uh, 25 minutes. And I started recording like two or three minutes ago. So, I mean, I know they look really, really close to the edge, but they may still have a lot of progress to go. You never know. Anyhow, we got the quarters loaded up really, really well in there. And look at all those quarters in the center. That is crazy. But yeah, this has been a pretty good game today, other than these towers taking a long time to go. Pretty exhausted at the moment. I've been playing this game in total for about, uh, well, I'd have to look at the other recording that I made. Most of the time, I just leave the camera running the whole entire time. And I'll just edit out the boring parts of the video and the parts where there's no uh, gameplay going on or uh, action, whatever you want to call it. And I usually trim a five hour video down to about uh, 30 or 40 minutes. But today this might be close to an hour long video, who knows. Oh my goodness, this tower on the right, it's like moving a bunch. So I tell you what, let's try one more round and if that don't get it, we'll go ahead and pay the extra 100 grand. So let's collect the quarters, we'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back, let's get right back to pushing. So uh, let's rapid fire a whole bunch of quarters in there at one time and see what happens. Oh yeah, the tower on the right, I'd say it's going to go any moment now. Oh yeah, there it goes. Come on, big money, give me something. Nice, there it goes. It's leaning forward tremendously. Come on. Oh my goodness, nice, there it goes. Well, we just lost uh, 30 grand to the blue shell. Well, that is super, super unfortunate right there. So now we will have to pay that extra 100 grand. So I tell you what, let's just push like normal, try to win some of these quarters back and uh, get those remaining chips on the right. Then we'll pay the extra $100,000. And they'll also uh, rearrange this tower, I'm pretty sure, if we haven't already won it by the time we decide to pay the 100 grand. But yeah, they'll take those three chips that we lost over there. They'll put them back in here somewhere. But yeah, I probably have around uh, five hours and something wrapped up in this game. Like I said, I'd have to go back and see how long the first recording was. Because like I said, I uh, started a brand new recording. And this one says like two hours and... 55 minutes now or something so and we've been playing a long time all right let's get that 20 grand on the right then we'll pay the extra 100 grand and it would be worth it to pay 100 grand to get the 30 grand because uh those dots total up to some pretty good numbers now that 30 grand might be worth a couple million dollars and the 100 grand that i'm spending to get that 30 grand is coming out of my account it is not coming out of my winnings. Now, if it was coming out of my winnings, it wouldn't be worth it to pay the 100 grand because 100 grand multiplied or whatever the dice land on would be a lot more than 30 grand multiplied. But since the 100 grand is coming out of my account, uh, 
it would definitely be worth it because the dice wouldn't multiply the 100 grand from my account. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and pay the extra $100,000 and we'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to it. So I paid the extra $100,000. Uh, they took that tower that was on the left hand side and all those chips that we lost to the blue shelf and they put it right here in the center of the play field. Y'all would assume they just took those three chips that we lost and stacked them on top of that tower right here. Because I'm not seeing them any place else. Which, I guess it'll be alright. We just got to get that tower to fall uh, straight down to the payout chute. Really, really hoping it does not fall backwards. Because then we'd have a chance of losing something to the gutter on the left or the right. So... Oh yeah, that tower moved forward tremendously. That might be a win right there. Come on. Oh my goodness, it's severely close to the edge. Oh yeah, it's about to fall down. Come on, big push. Yeah, if we can get this tower out of here, that'll get the whole entire machine cleared out today. Well, they're definitely making us work for the money today. I mean, it's nice to have a challenge here and there, especially with this amount of money. But I mean, most games I play are a challenge and we don't even win anything at all. Well, that tower's pretty close. We just need a good push right there in the center. Oh yeah, that might get it right there. Come on. Oh yeah, it's leaning forward. That's going to get it right there. Come on, big money. Nice, we got it. And the chips landed right here in the center. So that is a huge relief right there. So let's get those, uh, what is that, like 50 grand? Nice, now there's 20 grand to go. So let's win that $20,000. And then we'll go ahead and call them back here. Oh yeah, it's on the edge now. Come on, baby, big push. Nice, we got it. We got the whole entire machine cleared out today. That is absolutely marvelous. This is honestly one of the best games I've played in a very long time. And possibly one of the most entertaining videos I've done in a very long time also. So anyhow, that is not bad, not bad at all. We got the whole entire machine cleared out. That is absolutely amazing. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and call them over here. I think we have won 17 dice in total. We got 10 of the white dice, uh, 5 of the gold dice, and 2 of the silver dice. They'll put all 17 of them dice uh, back there on the pusher. We got to roll them on down to that lower shelf. Whatever they all land on, we get to multiply our winnings in our golden quarters by those numbers. So let's call them back here. We'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called them over here, and they put all 17 of them dice back there on the pusher. So let's roll them on down to that lower play field. Hopefully they all end on some excellent numbers today. And keep in mind, if any of the dice land on a 1, it would be a 0. The 1s do not count at all. Oh, nice, we got a 6 on that white dice. That is what I'm talking about. Nice, we got a 4. All right, let's see what those other dice land on. Nice, we got a 4, a 6. Four more dice to go. Let's roll them on down to that lower shelf. Right, that right there will probably get them. Nice, there we go. Well, we only got one one. Well, two ones. One of them flipped over to a one. But regardless, those are still some excellent numbers. The majority of them dice landed on good ones anyway. So, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and count everything up. Multiply our winnings in our gold and our quarters by all that right there. And I'll let y'all know how much money we've made today from a $3,100,000 buy-in. We'll be right back. You all are not going to believe what just happened. So whenever I went over there to the counter to cash out all those chips and the gold that I had won, basically the lady told me that uh, there's no possible way I could have won all that fair and square. So basically I got accused of cheating again. That's like two times in less than a month. So I was like, well, are you going to 
let me claim all that money that I've won that I just spent like uh, five or six hours winning and she was like unfortunately I'm not going to let you claim any of that and I was like well can I at least get my buy-in money back my 3.1 million she was like nope so you know that feeling like whenever your face feels like it's on fire and it starts to turn like blood red that's what was happening to me I was getting really really freaked out and I was scared that I'd lost everything and there wasn't nothing I could do about it. So anyhow, I stepped outside, I called the owner, I have the owner's uh, phone number, and he showed up roughly about uh, 25, 30 minutes later, and uh, he was talking to that lady that was at the front counter, and he wanted to review the security footage just to see if I had been cheating on the game or anything and uh, he watched it and it turns out I've won everything fair and square like I always do and he told the lady to uh, either let me claim all that money or he would fire her right there on the spot so she had no choice but to let me claim the money so anyway I ended up winning uh, 22 million two hundred and five thousand dollars in chips today and all the white dice totaled up to 31 so I got to multiply my winnings by 31 and in total, I ended up winning six hundred and eighty-eight million three hundred and fifty-five thousand dollars from a three point one million dollar buy, and that is absolutely outstanding. That is a humongous, ginormous, life-changing jackpot win today. Yeah, I can't believe we had won that much money today, but we was this close to uh not winning anything at all if I wouldn't have called the owner there would have been absolutely nothing I could have done about it so I'm still a little bit like shaky from it and stuff like I was very very afraid that we was going to lose all that money today but anyway on top of that we ended up winning uh, 20 ounces of gold today and the gold ice totaled up to 14 so I got to multiply the gold by 14 and in total I ended up winning 280 ounces of gold today and the spot price of gold is like 2,000 an ounce right now, so that means we got uh, $560,000 in gold. I mean, that's pretty good. Not bad, not bad at all. And on top of that, we ended up winning, I believe it was 2,934 quarters. And both of the silver dice totaled up to 12, so I got to multiply the quarters by 12. And in total, I ended up winning 35,208 quarters today. And we're going to divide that by four to get the dollar amount. That means we ended up winning eight thousand eight hundred and two dollars and quarters. That is absolutely spectacular. So anyhow, that is not bad, not bad at all for a three point one million dollar buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, uh, please consider hitting that subscribe button and hit the like button and turn on the post bell notifications. That way, you get notified for whenever I post a brand new video. And also, if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos, that will appear on the right-hand side of the screen. And if you want to check out my previous video, yesterday's video, that will appear on the bottom left of the screen. And if you want to check out uh, one of Joe's videos, that will appear at the top uh, left of the screen there. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, uh, you can click that button at the top of the screen right here in the middle. So I will see you all on the next video. Y'all take care and have a wonderful day.